Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nandi. And as you can tell from the title in today's video, we are going to talk about how to be more approachable. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So to be approachable, that means that you usually come off as friendly, you're charismatic, you are accessible, and you're easy to talk to. I thought that this would be a really good topic to talk about because I know that a lot of people are in the process of maybe job hunting or finding a job or just want to switch careers or maybe starting their own business and things like that. So this would be a really good topic to draw in consumers or customers or ace an interview or just anything that you have going on. One of the things about approachability is that a lot of people think that they are approachable but a lot of people end up not being approachable and it's so crazy because it's just like those small little things that you can do that makes you unapproachable that you really don't even think about or like don't even have any clue of don't worry i got you so why should you be approachable so again in the business realm of things um it definitely fosters networking and career benefits so i know you guys have heard the saying it's not what you know it's who you know and that literally could not be further from the truth. Like just meeting different people and knowing different people could literally open up so many doors for you. Being approachable and charismatic and really knowing how to talk to and communicate with people can really go a long way and really get you far. Also in interpersonal relationships, it just builds trust. People will want to come talk to you about problems that they have. And it just helps you build stronger relationships with people. So let's get into how you can be more approachable. And I have seven tips that I'm gonna give you guys. Tip number one is your body language, looking available. And this is honestly so important. You know how there's like resting bitch face, right? So obviously if you have a resting bitch face and you know, a lot of people don't even know that they have it. Like a lot of people don't even know that they look really unapproachable in their face, but that can stop people from just coming up and talking to you. So definitely body language, the way that you're sitting, if your arms are crossed, if your face is like, do not talk to me, y'all know that face I'm talking about, those all portray, do not come talk to me. <laughs> if you look irritated or bothered, um, people are not going to come and approach you. If you're smiling, if you're giving eye contact, you know, those are some of the things that would make you seem a little more approachable. Also, if you work in an office setting, a way that you can portray more approachability um, in a setting like that is to get up and go talk to people. If you are enclosed in your office all day or you just stay behind your little cubicle, you don't talk to nobody, like I came in here to get my work done and then I came to go home. Then, you know, no one's really gonna come and talk to you. But if you get up, you keep your door open, you know, you go to other people's workstation and maybe spark up a conversation, then those things would make you look a little more approachable. Tip number two is respond, don't react. So if someone comes up to you with a problem that they have and you know, you are always combative, you're always defensive, or even if you're just like someone who is constantly a complainer, um, or if someone comes to you with a problem and you just automatically write them off, these type of things are not going to make people want to talk to you, not want to make people want to tell you any issues or any problems that they might have. So instead, try to do a little mindful listening. Try to give them your full attention. And if someone comes up to you with a new idea or a suggestion, be willing to ponder it. You know, you don't even have to act on everything that someone says, but at least show that you are willing to listen to it and take it into account. That will go a long way. Also, I want to add with responding before you react, use your emotional intelligence. If you do not have emotional intelligence, I suggest you get some because problems are going to arise. And if your first response is to constantly get angry or yell um, or become defensive, then those are definitely some characteristics that you might want to try to work on. Tip number three is to do not be a know-it-all, okay? Nobody wants to talk to someone who thinks that they already know all the answers. No one wants to communicate with someone who literally thinks they are they already know everything. And then also don't be one of those people who when someone comes up to you and like explains a situation or like you know, tells you like a story or something and like wants your advice on it, 
Don't be one of those holier than thou people either. Constantly look at people as a way to learn. Stay teachable. Like there is always something else that you can learn. There is always more that you can learn. There are so many people in the world and there are so many people that you can learn from. Even if it's just small little things that a lot of people overlook, there is something to learn from everyone. So stay teachable. Tip number four is to approach first and also remove barriers. So this is kind of like um, with the office example, like getting up from your desk and going to go talk to other people. But also even just like, you know, at events, if you are the type of person who likes to network or go to socializing events or even just go to parties, well, definitely go up to someone and initiate contact. And actually when I was researching this topic, I came across this thing where it said like to keep a list of questions just handy and ready to go. And I think that that is a great idea, especially for people who want to meet people but don't know what to say. I think that that is the biggest holdup with networking and just meeting new people you have no idea what to even ask someone so if you constantly keep a list of questions you can do you know just fun questions professional questions depending on your setting so that way before you even get there you can just look that over be able to already have something to talk about just to start off the initial conversation and then also for my shy babes if you have trouble approaching people first then I would definitely recommend to find someone who is also alone, someone who is standing maybe off to the side, someone who is by themselves. Try to initiate contact with those people first before you just, you know, try to walk into groups of people because I think that is a lot harder to try to connect with a group of people, especially if you're already nervous. It will be a lot easier to just connect with one person first. Tip number five is to share. So if you are willing to open up and share your experiences and just talk more about yourself so that people feel like they know you, then a lot more people will be willing to open up to you. It will also make you a lot more relatable. If you don't really feel comfortable doing this in a professional setting, I think that there are still certain little personal things that you can share about yourself with your coworkers that will just make people feel like you are a little more personable or that they can relate to you, but you want to open up outside of work, then that's also fine too. Tip number six is extremely important and that is to tone it down. And by tone it down, I mean assess who you're talking to, respond accordingly because a lot of people have different personalities and the way that I talk to my friends is not the way that I could just go into a conversation and talk to a group of new people. Just keep in mind, you know, that everyone has different personalities. Definitely always keep in mind your tone of voice. You don't wanna come off as harsh or dismissive. And you definitely don't want to be one of those people who constantly critique people because it will definitely drive them away. Well, you know how when you were growing up and your mom was like, don't talk to me like I want to yell at friends. It's that, it's the same concept. <laughs> the last tip is to don't be in a hurry. So by this, I mean, obviously we all have so much going on and we all have a thousand things to do, but literally just taking that one moment to not only just interact with people, but to actually take that extra step to connect especially if you are one of those people who want to maybe do your start your own business, definitely getting out there and connecting with the community, really making people feel like they know you are making people feel like you have a genuine interest in them as a consumer. And then also what you do, taking the time to really slow down, really get to know people, really get to know your audience and really make a connection instead of just an impression. Those are all the tips for you guys on approachability, how to be more approachable. Now feel free to obviously, I think that these tips can be used in a very professional business setting, but also just in a, a fun setting as well. Many new people, I mean, you kind of use the same techniques to connect with people and interact with people regardless of the setting. I will see you in the next video. Bye.